going on is welcome back to another Call of Duty video. Now today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Black Ops 4 via Infinite Warfare. Now you're you're not playing uh, Black Ops 4 exactly, you're playing Infinite Warfare as I am sitting on the Infinite Warfare screen. And yeah, I know you don't want to download Infinite Warfare again. I know you don't want to play this game ever again. I know you have suicidal thoughts while playing it, but it, this is the closest thing we have to Black Ops 4 so far, just for a um, um, few main things. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So first of all, we're going to go to map. You can choose whatever map you want, but you, I would say uh, try try to go for the maps that are more uh, leaning towards the boots on the ground side. So in my opinion, um, maybe retaliation would be would be good or not. I just retaliation there you go you can do any mode but i'd recommend like the ones that we can for sure promise are going to be in the new game so like tdm search and destroy kill uh hard point like we can i'm just going to do tdm because why not also you can make the time limit and score limit whatever you want i'm going to make it unlimited so just so i can play for as long as i really desire so make that unlimited then you have to go all the way over to gameplay and disable wall run disable double jump and then you also have to go down to player which i forgot and make it so max health is 150 and make it so health regeneration is none those are very important so with the new um system that we're going to be having in the next call of duty game you have to manually heal yourself so it's gonna uh so instead of like regening over time you have to pull out a syringe which we will get to that very soon then you're going on a bot you can put ever how many ever bots you want in your team i'm just gonna have five recruit five recruit because i'm not really looking into try harding now for your specials or your rig you need to run warfighter with the combat or with the resupply and then you can choose whatever you want between claw combat focus or overdrive i'm just gonna do combat focus so i'm pretty sure we're gonna be having it in black ops 4 now for the class you actually have to run the the things that are very important are the nano shot because this is the the quote unquote um i mean shot that you take to heal yourself in black ops 4 gung-ho and scavenger those are the the big ones and then you can run blast shield and then whatever gun you want i'm just gonna run an mv4 and uh i mean you can run whatever one of these you you want to or you can run two perk whatever you want it's just these three are very essential so that's all you have to have i believe i have everything set up correctly so i am gonna go into the game so i will see you guys in the game all right so we are responding into the game we have uh six people on my teammate because i forgot that it actually uh it's five people plus it adds yourself i thought it was gonna be um something else so basically what the specialist rig does the resupply it makes it so every time you kill someone and you get like you have the ammo pack on um you can pick up uh tactical and lethals from it so basically if i use this right now which i decided i wanted to um i have to kill an enemy before i can get it see Oh, I just picked up my nano shot. I can heal myself. So that's kind of how Black Ops 3 is going to be. And they also, or Black Ops 4, I keep calling it Black Ops 3, but also, um, I feel, what was I going to say? I can't even remember what I was going to say. The gun ho is, or the gun ho is very important because they, uh, talked about making it so, uh, they wanted the speed and, like, the speed of Black Ops 3, but they also wanted it to be boots on the ground as well. So what they did is they're, I'm pretty sure they're just putting automatic gun ho on something. So, like, the healing, you could... Uh, you could run while you're healing yourself, so that's, I can, that's what the gun, that, like, where the, that's where the gung-ho comes in, so, that's where, that's why I'm running that. Oh my god, I'm on fire. I remember the, oh my god, I just tried to boost. I remember the first time I, I or not the first time, but, like, maybe, like, seven months into Infinite Warfare coming out, I saw a teammate put, like, a drone package down right here, and I'm like, teammate what the fuck are you doing you're literally putting a care package on the top of the building and next thing you know i see this thing fly in i'm like oh my god why why like i didn't know care packages like get flown in your building so i was like okay whatever so like this is the only part about this map that's not friendly at least like that part for the boots on the ground so that was i was kind of worried about that but i like retaliation it was one of my favorite maps because it's like this part's so colorful and and you know it's a very good map in terms of competitive and stuff to be quite honest like these boots on the ground or not boots on the ground the jetpack games are really fun to watch for competitive like i'm not a big fan of world war ii competitive because it's just the same thing every match and i'm literally gonna die from this car exploding good thing i didn't get close to it what i thought it was constant i didn't think it was like sweeping one we could drop the the nuke first freaking life dude that'd be beautiful i tried recording this video yesterday but i had some 
uh, I had some issues where because I had to put a uh, um, an offset on like my audio or in like something so I it matches up with everything. Like I ran into a problem yesterday. I think that's a shotgun. I'm a I had some issues syncing up my audio yesterday, so I had to kind of scrap that video. Um, but now it is I am remaking it, and it it took me a while to get the DNA to intensify the left the strike yesterday. So hopefully this game's a little bit better, and it looks like it is. Something I did like about this game is that if you had the season pass, you got all the DLC weapons. I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, and I wish that was in Black Ops 3 because I did have the season pass, and having all the DLC weapons would have been pretty cool. Like, the game, Black Ops 3 was kind of, it's very innovative, like, the Treyarch games are very innovative, but it's just sometimes Sledgehammer and Inf Infinity Ward have, like, really good ideas that Sledgehammer does not. Um, I have to be very cool. Oh, shoot, I'm not using the NV4, I'm not gonna get the nuke, what the heck, I'm stupid. But Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward do, do have some, like, good ideas in terms of, like, uh, DLC weapons and supply drops, like, in, um... I'm trying to think of NWR made it so if you have like armory credits or whatever then you can you could like get the weapon just off of the armory credits and I thought that was a great idea and I'm glad that they brought it into World War Two. Thank you teammate for saving my life. And then in uh Infin Infinity Ward with Infinite Warfare said if you have the if you have the season pass, boom, you get all the DLC weapons and I thought that was a really good idea because I mean I didn't have the best luck with um Oh wow, I just got a really good streak. I didn't have the best luck with supply drops, but I did I did pay sixty or fifty bucks for the season pass, which I thought that's a pretty good that's a pretty good deal. I mean fifty bucks for the for all the DLC weapons in the game. I mean if I would that's a no brainer for me, I feel. Oh my god, I'm about to choke this. This guy's head glitching me. Okay, I'm 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 dipping. I'm dipping. I'm dipping. I'm dipping. Oh my gosh, one more kill, one more kill, and I need a freaking... Okay, please tell me you have it. Give me a shot! I need a shot! Okay, I got the de-atomated a bit of a little strike. So, we're gonna pop this bad boy. Let's just kind of go mid-map right now, and I'm surprised I'd, I haven't gotten a syringe yet. That's a really surprise to me. Alright, let's just pop this right now. Oh, wait. Okay. That works too. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna close that. Oh, whoa. whoa. You're cool. You're actually cool, man. That will end the game. We were able to get it before the TDM would actually end if it was a public match, but God knows I can't get it if you in a public match. I, I haven't done it in my whole entire life. Curry getting killed. Sadly, that didn't happen in the Western Conference Final. So if you enjoyed this video, press the like button. Subscribe if you know that's all I got. See ya.